All right, let's take a look at our automatic cable tester project uh, for the Fez Domino. Uh, the hardware we have here is a Fez Domino. Uh, the Fez Domino is a uh, little microcontroller board based on a 32-bit ARM7 processor uh, that is programmed with uh, C Sharp. It uh, runs uh, Microsoft. Uh, the, the .NET Compact Framework, uh, an expansion board here by Liquidware, and an LCD shield uh, made by the same company that makes the uh, Fez Domino board, uh, GHI Electronics. Now, I built a lot of different uh, cables, and uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to test them because you've got a uh, test for continuity from pin to pin to make sure you didn't get a uh, wire in the wrong place or something like that. Uh, so I wanted an automated way to test them that would be faster and you know, provide uh, more consistent results. Uh, so what you see here is a prototype. You know, we've got an LCD screen uh, to give us feedback and user interface uh, with the buttons here. Uh, over here in the prototyping area uh, you see several uh, yellow jumper wires and uh, each of these jumper wires is a test point and you'll notice that uh, for instance this wire right here uh, hooks up all the way over over here which is actually an analog capable pin uh, these uh, test points which are in this case mapped back to IO pins aren't necessarily contiguous so we have a uh, another method to refer to them in code uh, the test points are abstracted uh, so uh, we have a, a logical way to refer to them in the code with uh, regardless of how they actually exist physically uh, these first four wires uh, represent where we would be connecting our uh, connector one in this case the second four represent where we would be connecting our connector two uh, so if we look at how we have our virtual cable here connected, uh, connector 1, pin 1, is uh, connected to connector 2, pin 1. Connector 1, pin 2, follow that up here, is connected to connector 2, pins 2 and 3. Now these resistors here are just a low ohm resistor I'm using for uh, current limiting, uh, just for safety's sake never a bad idea when you're prototyping to be prepared to for what happens when you hook something up wrong. So right now everything's hooked up properly and if I press the select button to start the test you'll see it's telling it's doing a digital test, it's running the two tests that are programmed uh, and everything came out fine. And uh, so we'll purposely create a problem here. Pull out the jumper and we'll rerun the test. Run the test again. It says, oh, we've got an open from connector 1, pin 2, to connector 2, pin 2. And that's the only test we have. And you see right here our pin 3 is hooked up, but our pin 2 is not hooked up. Now, what would happen if, for instance, on this connector 2, I had 3 and 4 tied together instead of two and three. Let's rerun the test and find out. Now well, that says I've got an open connector to pin two and it's shorted uh, to connector two pin. We can't quite see that so we'll scroll over pin four so it'll find out both cases if uh, oops I ran the test there again. It'll find out um, if a uh, connector is, uh, you know, a certain connection is open when there should be continuity there, or if it's shorted somewhere else, I don't know to tell you uh, what's open or what's shorted.